morning. It is Sunday. I'm gonna start a weekly vlog on Sunday this week, switching it up. Happy Mother's Day. I'm home on Long Island to make my bed. I'm wearing that jumpsuit today. I just woke up. All right, guys, the board is here. Oh, I requested extra crackers on the side because we always need more crackers, you know? Oh, she's got the ones with The that. trader, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't maybe know the- if it is, actually. Uh, oh yeah, it might be. I put a, no nuts though, so they're not nuts. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, you wanna open it? Fork in the here, I'll I don't even wanna, can I slide this off? Yeah, yeah. I will leave her Instagram on the screen. I think it's just onboard li. She is so, so sweet. Oh my gosh, oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Look, so you could order it and it comes completely oh, ready the, delivery. Wow, I'm obsessed. Baby. Oh, I love stuff like that. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Her name is Rosie, so thank you so much, Rosie, for this. Um, wow, we are about to go in. I know, she was like, put it in the fridge, shake it out 30 minutes before you want to serve. I was like, but we're about to eat it right now. <laughs> Monday, everybody. Okay, a few things that I want to discuss. Well, first I just got, I got back to the city probably like three, four hours ago. I'm about to hop on a call, call with a brand, a video call. So I put on a little bit of makeup and I blue dry my hair with my air wrap. Still trying to figure it out, guys. Like, I'm, I'm confused. I just did a haul on Instagram of some recent things that I bought, including this really cute sweatsuit, which was ridiculously expensive. It's from Aviator Nation, and I just love it. I think it's very, very cute. Also tried on some bathing suits from Monday Swimwear. None of which fit. I'm going to return them all, but also just, wow. I thought I was prepared uh, to see my body in a bathing suit, and it just took me by surprise. The confidence went down, but that happens. Get knocked down, get back up again. I've never been the most confident in bathing suits, and I thought this year, like, I was just feeling really good about my body and stuff, and then I just uh, tried it on. I was like, ooh. Maybe I think it was the cuts of those ones. They didn't specifically flatter my body. I do like a high-rise bottom, and the bottoms were quite low-rise. They just didn't cut me in the places that I need to be cut, you know? But I did get some stuff from some other brands sent to me. The haul on Instagram I did was all things that I purchased. This is stuff that was sent to me, so I want to show you really quick. This is a late, like, quote, birthday box from the Small Biz Box Babe Gift Co. You can use the code Brook10 or Smile10, I guess. Woman-owned business. And basically they do stuff for whatever your theme is. I thought that this was so cute for a birthday gift. I'm always looking for like good gifts to mail my friends and stuff. And I feel like this is a great company to support. Yeah, they sent me this personalized, so cute. I got a bunch of new stuff from European Wax Center. We love them. Um, I love going there for, I go there for my eyebrows and when I get a bikini wax or Brazilian, I guess. But they sent all of these products to like kind of prep and prime your skin, which I thought was interesting. Over here, I got my seed refill, which if you watched, I think it was my last video, it was sponsored by Seed, and this is the refills of them. I pour them into the glass jar. And then I got this reusable bag, which I thought was so cute, and it's filled with some stuff. This is from June's. What else did she send in here? This is so cute. I love a reusable bag. Everyone in New York City walks around with like these little canvas bags, and I'm kind of into it now. I do the same especially when I have to like run errands or whatever. Oh, cute matches and then like a little luggage tag. It's so cute. And then I actually ordered phone beads that finally came. They took a minute to get here, but you were able to customize like a link below the Etsy shop I got them from. This is it, Spice Cat Designs. And for the personalization, I just put my name and the color scheme that I wanted. Definitely took a minute to get here, but I think that they're super cute. Oh my gosh. And you just put it through the loop, um, which I didn't know this, but the loop like where if you have an iPhone, I think whatever type of phone you have, you can put it through like that sort of loop there. Or maybe I guess you could put it on the other side. Actually, no, there's no like open loop. You could put it on the bottom, I guess. Anyways, so cute. I have my case to buy case with my dangly dangly <laughs> hanging off of it. Filling all of the pink today. So I'm gonna hop on this call now. Just finished that call and now I have therapy. So really just staying busy this week, Monday. Not really in the mood for it, but I know that I'll feel better after you guys know the drill. Interrupting this video to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Casetify. So if you are a returning subscriber or you've watched my videos before, you should definitely subscribe by the way. But anyways, if you've seen my videos before, you've seen me talk about Casetify. They are the only phone cases I use and they're just a tech accessory brand in general. I really like Casetify cases because they are slim and they are protective. They're not like those big clunky ones that, you know, say that they have to keep your phone safe so they have to be like huge and massive, like no. Casetify combines the design element with actually the 
functionality of being drop resistant. They're actually drop tested for drops of 6.6 .6 feet. So I will include the little footage of me dropping my phone. Naturally, I drop my phone all the time anyways, but um, I have no problem doing it for the video because I trust the cases so much. They come in a ton of designs so you can pick your favorite, go on the website. You can honestly spend hours on there. Like there's a lot of options, okay? I love it. It says, put down that phone of yours and love me the way you used to. This one says, you're my favorite person in the world. It's like a little message. It gives me like 90s vibes of like aim. Love this leather one with my name on it. I love the personalized ones. That's what I have on my phone right now. One that just says Brooke. Caseify cases also have an antimicrobial coating, which is so cool. It kills up to 99% of bacteria. They're also made of partially recycled plastic, so you can feel good about your phone looking good. I truly believe these are well worth the investment because you don't have to worry about breaking your phone. So in that case, you're saving money by keeping your phone and just your tech in general safe. And of course, I do have a deal for you guys. So thanks to Case Defy for hugging it up for you guys. Go to casedefy.com slash brookmichio today to get 15% off your new phone case. I'll have that link down below. Thanks again to Case Defy for partnering up with me on this video and back to the vlog. Good morning, people. Hangover hoodies sent me another hoodie. They're just so comfy. I have to live in them. And the other thing that I'm living in is my Align shorts. You guys, they're just the best. Gosh, they're so comfy. I like I like having my legs free. Free as can be. There's a guy running right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the back of this car. It's all broken glass. Oh my gosh. Did I just low-key catch a crime? Like, I feel like that's so random. The back of the car was all, like the glass was shattered and there was a guy running across the street like a minute before that happened. That's weird, right? Anyways, I stopped vlogging yesterday. Whenever I do a lot of stuff on Instagram, I just stop vlogging for some reason. My brain can't apparently understand that I could do two things or post for two platforms. Anyways, if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should be. I just did a little, I don't even want to call it Q&A, but I just like leave open the question box and we just chat. So go follow me, be a part. I'm also posting so many reels on there and I want to start doing mini vlogs on there. So, so much content. I'm about to hop on a call with Danielle. We are going to brainstorm. We have some exciting things coming up for Gals on the Go. She is officially done with college this week, which means we are going full force. The duo is going to be back at it. Not that we haven't been, of course we have been, but this will be the first time that both of us will be full-time like working on social media stuff full-time. Of course I have been, but having two of us, I think is going to really just like take it to the next level. Really fully focused, fully zoned in. Wow, what's happening? But we do have something special coming up. I don't wanna say like too, too much, but in the next like two months, more than just the podcast. And we're going to brainstorm for the podcast for the next few weeks on this call. So let's do it. I will talk to you soon. Congrats on finishing school. <laughs> Celebrate. I don't have a printer if you didn't know, or I do have one, but it's like, I don't have the ink for it. I have to take it out every time. It's just like a major inconvenience. But I just figured out that you could actually email your files to FedEx and then they email you back a code and you could just go and print out your documents. So like my return shipping label, I'm just gonna go and pick it up at FedEx. You could also do the same if you just have a flash drive or something. I don't even, I, I probably do have a flash drive actually now that I think about it, but I just emailed and then they emailed, I emailed, it's literally just one document, one thing. It's just a UPS label and then I'll, I will um, drop it off. I have to go do that and I wanted to buy some flowers and take a little walk. Random errands running look, I'm wearing my hangover hoodie. The Lululemon Align shorts and the Mega Force ones and socks. I mean, you know, we run errands. Got some hydrangeas, pretty in my IKEA vase. Love it. You guys, this said it was transfer proof deodorant. Look at that. Can we not? I'm gonna make a little Caesar salad. I got some groceries this morning. I'll put a little overlay clip here. I am gonna go to Trader Joe's at some point. I'm here in the city now for a while until I go to Georgia and see my friends from college, which I can't wait. I really like this salad kit. It's the organic Caesar chopped kit from Whole Foods. And it's like one o'clock. I just went for that short little walk to print that for my package and whatever. And then I think I'm gonna sit on the roof. I have to catch up on reading. I have been on the same book for a minute now because basically all last week I didn't read, which is not what has been my normal reading cadence recently. So I want to catch up on reading today. I always love eating salads out of like big bowls. These are from Costco, I think. And I'm going to, instead of the Caesar dressing it comes with, I'm just going to use this creamy Caesar wishbone light. I love a Caesar salad. It's Caesar salad season, people. I'm reading normal people slowly. It's definitely a different style of book. They actually don't have quotations. So it's kind of um, interesting to read. 
I'll be interested to see if I like it. I know when I posted it about it on my story, I got a lot of mixed reviews, which is interesting because I feel like this series, the Hulu series is incredibly popular. So we'll see. I have on some sunscreen on my face, but I need to make sure to put it on my body before I go upstairs. My sunburn did already like diminish though, which is really great. We love that. I just love going to my roof in the middle of the day. No one is up there. It feels incredibly peaceful. I could totally like go up there and do work there too, but it's just a nice break to go up and read. I can eat the Caesar salad, then go read. I feel like I'm retired. I haven't really vlogged too much today. I'm kind of having, not an off day actually, but I was just doing things that I couldn't really show. Like I was catching up on reading. I'm gonna try to finish Normal People by tomorrow to get back on track with the book reading. I actually really like it so far. Like I said, I've heard mixed opinions, but I like it. I'm watching a million little things on Hulu. What are the thoughts? Have you guys watched this show? It's very sad. Like a This Is Us, just drama sort of show. But it's very heavy. Like every episode, I'm like, wow, that would, like every episode is very, it's almost like a, like you need to put a fun episode in there just to keep it a little okay. Anyways, I got sushi for dinner because I can. I ordered from Bondi Sushi. And what I really like about them is that they have great substitutes like for healthier options. So I get half cauliflower rice, which I just feel like I'm making a little bit of a better choice. My order, oh, she's stunning. I get the truffle avocado, the cucumber sesame, salmon avocado, and salmon cucumber. I only do salmon when it comes to sushi. So she's gorgeous and it comes with like all the, the fixins. I always get edamame and I always get miso soup. So really just living. I also am having some kind of like redness reaction under my eyes. So that's also why I haven't been really filming. It looks like I got like punch in the face. I didn't, I swear. I'm having some kind of like allergic reaction to something that I'm using, but I haven't switched anything up. So I'm just a little, a little confused. Gonna watch the show. Gonna eat my sushi. Oh, I just did my sheets on my bed. I actually switched out my comforter. I should have like not done this as soon as the food got here, but it's fine. You wouldn't know, but underneath the duvet, I guess, I have two from Buffy. I have the cloud and the breathe, I think it is. It's either breathe or breeze. And I use that one for the warmer months. So I switched out my comforter and that's what I have um, underneath the Brooklyn and duvet, by the way. So anyways, random, but that's what I did today. <laughs> did my sheets. I already have my workout outfit picked out for tomorrow morning. Like that is when you know we're getting our shit back together. In this house, it's happening. Good morning, guys. I couldn't fall asleep last night until like two or 3 a.m. Don't really know why but I didn't. I read a little bit more of my book and I just finished it this morning. I'm not gonna recommend it. It's about a relationship, but it's very raw, very real. Kind of sad, honestly, actually pretty sad. It's pretty heavy. I think it is a good book. It's just not for me, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't my fave. So anyways, that was Normal People. I'm gonna read Daisy Jones and the Six next, which is by Taylor Jenkins Reid, who wrote another book, um, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I really enjoyed. I will be reading this next, Reese's Book Club, which you always know is a, a good one. So with me staying up late last night, I slept in a little bit till nine, and I actually, this morning, did a lot of um, conversing back and forth, trying to figure out my new apartment. Um, if you watched the last week of my life, I kind of gave a little bit of an update, and it basically is, I want to stay in this building, but move to a different unit and one is opening up that I'm crossing my fingers I could get. It is so sick, you guys. I'm in the process of like negotiating and trying to figure that out. I haven't even physically toured it, so I need to do that too. I need to physically tour, but I went back and forth and negotiated a better rate, so that was nice. Always try to do that if you can. Um, I don't know if that's just like a New York housing market thing, but I realized that you could really, many, many places it is negotiable, which I wish I knew for a lot of things in my life. So just keep that in mind. So now it's like 12.30 um, in the afternoon. I am in some workout clothes and I'm just gonna go work out now cause I am feeling a little motivated and honestly a little sad after reading this. And my YouTube subscription box is flowing. So I just know that I have content to dive into. Woohoo! So obviously being the domestic legend that I am, I'm, that was a total joke. Like I really just want to make sure that the tone is clear. I'm making mini chicken tacos for dinner. These are, oh my gosh. If you haven't tried these, I gotta get your booty to Trader. I was thinking that maybe I would go this week, but I don't think I'm gonna have to. I still have plenty of frozen items. I should be like eating a salad or something, but I'm gonna put some shredded lettuce on top of them, I think. I have some sour cream to be eating them with too. Yeah, I just thought that these sounded really good for dinner. I haven't been using my air fryer much at all lately. Maybe when I move, whatever that is, 
I might be moving sooner than expected now. I would actually be looking forward to that, hopefully. I'm kind of antsy now, like now that I know that this unit that I would be moving to is bigger and better. I'm kind of like, gosh, that'd be so fun if I could get in there sooner. But we'll see, I'm not rushing. I'm trusting the process. Anyways, I'm not even counting how many. I always make like a certain number, let's just say like eight or something, and I wish I made more. But then it's like a whole production because it's like you actually like already made them, like you can't, whatever. I stick them in the oven, 425 for like 10 minutes or so. And then I have some shredded lettuce and some sour cream. Really just having an evening. I just did a whole thing on my Instagram because um, I got nostalgic and I was thinking about old books. I was thinking about the click books specifically. Let me know if you guys read those. I was a stan for the click books growing up. Movie, not so much. Books ride or die i mean i was excited obviously when the movie came out but i was more, like i read every single book like i was excited when the books were coming out i like knew when they were coming out so it was like a real stand for the books and i feel like that was like right at the perfect time for me like it was like the perfect like reading level for like how old i was so let me know that's a good comment question comment below a book series from like your preteen years i feel like there's a difference obviously in like childhood books because like i read like Judy b jones and stuff like that when i was in like elementary school but then you get to like the middle school, early high school era of like the books that defined you. So comment below the, the books that defined you when you were younger. For me, it's the Click series. I also was really into any type of like dystopian. Of course, I liked Hunger Games, Divergent. And then on my Instagram story, I kind of got into like the really like one-off ones that I liked. Like you, um, <laughs> so niche. City of Ember, that was such a good one. Pretties, Uglies, like that series. I just learned that the summer I turned pretty series, they're making it into an Amazon show. I'm so dry on TV shows right now. That's also why I've been reading so much because I just like don't have any good TV to watch except for Cruel Summer, but that only comes out once a week and Younger comes out once a week, but Younger this season isn't even that good. I'm just complaining. I'm so excited. I feel like we're going to get a whole new wave of TV, but it's going to be like a year from now. It's going to be like a while away because I feel like right now we're in that lull of like probably all of the things that should have been filming like when COVID first hit. So we're in like a, there's nothing going on, but things are coming. Cause think about it, like Outer Banks season two will come. Things will come. Just got this very large package from Revolve too, which I'm gonna haul, I'll haul for you guys probably later in this vlog. Um, just because I'm not gonna try it on today, but wow, she's dense. I do get a credit from them every month um, in exchange for posting, so I didn't pay for all of this. Um, I'm not that insane, guys. Good morning. I don't know why my voice sounds a little hoarse today. I am just wearing this new um, tank top that I got from Revolve, as well as some Citizens of Humanity jeans by White Bay has. And then this jacket is from Everlane. I am going to meet my mom now. She is getting Botox. A lot of people ask, you know, how does your mom like look so good? She takes really, really good care of her skin in terms of like does a full skincare routine morning and night, which I think plays a huge role. But I think it's really important to admit when, or not admit, but be open about what you get done and she gets Botox. So that's how a lot of the, re a lot of how she looks so youthful. She doesn't do filler typically. We both got under eye filler um, once. I am going to Uber up over to the office. We're seeing Dr. Jody again. I I was actually gonna, like it's the two week checkup of my Botox. So I'm getting like checked up. My mom is going to get some Botox from Dr. Jody. So that's what we're doing this morning. Anyways, this is the look, just very casual. I think it's like 60 degrees. So I thought that this was cute. I'm gonna vlog on my little camera and then my mom's gonna be in the city. It's, oh, so I'm not wearing makeup because I wanted her to get a good look at my skin. Just wearing the super group. Uh, glow screen, which is so good. I will link it down below. I'm gonna say it like I used to not wear SPF all the time and this year like that is my priority Anyways, we have a purse and I'll vlog with my mom because then I think we're gonna like go grab lunch and like have a little city day We came to the boathouse. Um, I have no makeup on I said before, but it's all good. I found this place just on Google Maps and I've never dined places like this before, like in the park. It's so beautiful. Mom and me day. <laughs> they brought us um, like a bread of choice, so I got sourdough. Cheers. Wow, I got a whole steak in the afternoon. Potatoes are blue cheese potatoes. I know you have to have one. Beautiful that is. And you got the scallops. We just finished up lunch. Now we're just going for a little walk. This is in Gossip Girl where they run and get married. Isn't that in Gossip Girl? So now 
we're gonna take a car back to my apartment. It is such a beautiful day. We just walked around the park for a little What's bit after. What's the temperature? Shall we, shall we lunch? I know you don't like my weather service. She uses the Weather Channel app. I use I like uh, it. just the weather on like the phone. 69. <laughs> now we're gonna go back to my apartment for a little bit, hang out. Maybe go on the roof. Good time. Maybe get an iced coffee. Oh, oh. blue bottle. Yeah. Would you like you like blue bottle? Why wouldn't I like it? It's strong. Yeah. Good. I got coconut milk in my in my Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee today. What'd you think of it? I cannot believe I didn't tell you. Once What's again, Dunkin' Donuts. You could go today and they could make it on the dark side. Yeah. You could go tomorrow, they'll make it on the light <laughs> side. Like you just don't know the what you're gonna get. The consistency is yeah. not. There is none. So it was perfect for me, like it wasn't too light, because okay. if they make that light, then it's like, I don't know. I know. Because I'm assuming it's not very, right? We established it's not the best for you. Or the coconut milk? Yeah. No, I think we said it, it is. I could be wrong. I Unless it it's high in fat. Is it sweetened coconut milk? Well, is it unsweet? I guess, oh, you have to, I bet your Duncan people would, would know the answer to that. I got this package, which is full of Chagachino, which I'm so interested. I've heard a lot about this. It is a super food that I'm supposed to put in my coffee healing mushrooms and it inspired me then i saw this picture of hillary duff and i was watching younger last night so then i started listening to this podcast that hillary duff is on so good morning guys so i'm gonna make a coffee this morning good morning guys sorry i stopped vlogging after um, my mom left i made dinner did some work did some reading and that's really it. Today I am taking pictures with Madison Lane Photo is her at. I am so excited to shoot with her. We're gonna shoot in Soho, so really looking forward to that. I am going to, like I just said, make a coffee. So let's get it going. That shoot isn't until 12. I have a good amount of stuff to do before that. 7.30. Yesterday with my mom was just so, so fun. We had seriously the best time. Just such a good day. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I mean, we always have fun together and everything, but yesterday I think just knowing that it was only four hours, it was such a good day. I actually normally don't love when people like come to visit me. I prefer to go home. But in that case yesterday, it was great. Had such a fun time. So shout out to you, mom. Ice cubes. I'm not gonna see my parents for a few weeks. Not that anybody cares about my schedule, but next week, Danielle is in New York City. She's coming to visit. She is bringing her boyfriend though. So it, she's not staying with me, but we're still gonna see each other. I think like every day that she's here, record a podcast, stuff like that. The La Colombe Brew in the cans is really just so good. Definitely gonna keep it on auto ship or whatever, cause it's that good. The week after that, I'm going to Georgia and I'm driving down to Florida with my friends from college. So the next few weeks, I'm kind of busy. This weekend, I'm in the city. No specific plans per se. I've been going to the park one day. We went to the park yesterday. I just love Central Park so much. It's just, it is a little out of the way for me. Like there's parks that are closer to me that I more frequent and I have my roof. So when I want to get like outside activity, I kind of have a place to do that, which I'm so, so lucky. Top of the linen whipped cream. She's gorge. Yeah, I think this is really it for the morning, but I'm gonna get some computer work done because the video goes up tomorrow that I wanna just make sure it's all set. Tonight I'm taking photos and then I'm going to dinner with some friends. So just starting to like, I don't know, yesterday it was just so positive walking around. The government just put out a mandate that if you're fully vaccinated, which will be me, because it's technically two weeks after your second dose. So that will be me next Thursday. You don't have to wear a mask inside or outside in most cases. Of course, there are some exceptions, but like in most cases, so it's just like things are really opening up. Like it's great. So cheers everybody. All right, I got ready. I filmed the try on clips for the haul, which I'm going to show you guys after I get back. Finish up some things for Instagram. And that's pretty much what my morning was. So I'll show you the first look. I'm bringing this Trader Joe's bag um, with two other outfits, one dress, one like little set, and my new Steve Madden pink shoes that are, I think are just so fun. And I'm, I've been waiting to take pictures in them. This is the first one. I think it's probably, I don't want to say like the funkiest of all. Uh, it definitely is, but I've been waiting to take pictures in this. So this is from Song of Style. It's a two piece set. Oh my gosh, I have to blend out my dry shampoo. I always forget to do that. Okay, well, let's do that first. Anyways, I went in with the Airwrap just to do a few pieces just to give me a little more volume. And I feel like it actually looks decent. And then I did a lot of dry shampoo. It's very dirty right now. Anyways, this two-piece set, I'm wearing a large top, medium bottoms. They are long. I have them cuffed even. I'm gonna probably uncuff them before the photos. And I was wondering what shoes to wear with them. And I just settled on sneakers, not only because I'm walking over there. I don't know if my shoes are even gonna be in the pictures per se, but 
full like two-piece set in the back it like clips into place i actually really like this top especially if you have a larger chest i just think it sits nicely i have to kind of pull it down to like set it into place but when it's in place like oh my gosh i just think it's really flattering i kind of have to make sure these straps are even that's actually what i have to do and then these pants are just the comfiest thing ever the belt kind of keeps like going off kilter so i have to like i have it pinned in place but I feel like once I have time to like, you know, make myself look cute, I feel like this could be a moment for pictures. I love a matching set because I don't know how to pick out clothes. So <laughs> follow me on Instagram to see the other looks. I'm excited. I think we're going to do some film shots, which I've been into lately, the look of those. And we're meeting in Soho right outside the Aritzia. So I'm going to walk over now and I will try to get clips on my phone, but it's typically hard for me to take pictures, especially when I'm getting pictures taken of me and because i don't want my stuff on, like we leave the stuff on the street i don't want my stuff to get stolen of course i'm trying to navigate in between people um not that i'm like trying to make excuses but it might not be the best clips here we are taking pictures <laughs> i'm gonna put my phone down for you guys hopefully i don't flash you Alright guys, I have returned for my shoot. It was so great. I only got that one iPhone clip just because we were running around Soho. I was like literally changing in the middle of Soho. She had a pop-up tent. Maddie, um, aka Madison Lane Photo. So definitely go shoot with her. She shoots film, which I just think is so cool. I'm so into that right now, even though I don't shoot it. Like, But when I took pictures with Alex, we did film too. You know why I like it? It's because you're not, it's not like an iPhone where you can take a million and sit there and critique yourself. It's kind of like you take the picture and like you don't see it till it comes back not only is it more of like an in the moment type of shot but i just feel like i can be less over critical of myself i'm less critical of myself with film because i don't even know what it looks like until it comes back of course you have like the photographer to like help you and whatever i just think film is fun i kind of want to get i always say i want to get into stuff i uh, i just find it cool i wanted to end off the vlog with the big revolve haul as promised um i do get some credit from them i'm not told to like include it in a video or anything per se but i just got really cute stuff this month and like I told you guys several times, cause I'm just so beyond excited at this point, two weeks from today, I will be in Florida. So I am getting um, all of my outfits and things like that ready. And I'll be wearing a lot of these on the trip. So we're gonna do a haul. I tried on most of the items and I will have links to them all down below. And I'll tell you guys my sizing as usual. I also, just for me right now, what I'm wearing is just uh, these Corral like active shorts, Lululemon t-shirt because, and I had a crumb on my shirt, okay? I'm gonna go uh, sit on the roof and do some reading after this, I think, for a little bit, only like an hour or so. Let's get started. I wore this um, in some of the pictures today, so you might've already seen on my Instagram. Hopefully the pictures are cute. This is from Lovers and Friends, and it is this little floral dress where you tie up um, the sleeves kind of. It's definitely a little short, so I would say error on the side of that. I did get it in a medium, and it's like poofy in the sense of like when you turn to the side, it's not the most flattering look, but I kind of like it for that purpose. I wore it with like pink sandals before when you're taking pictures, and I really, really like it. It reminds me actually of like vintage Lily Pulitzer patterns, which apparently are making a comeback, so I'm really into it. It's like this pretty detailed floral I don't know, I just think it's pretty. So this is uh, probably the most like springy of the pieces that I got. I love a little color moment. We have this little cropped tank top. This is also Lovers and Friends and I got this in a medium. Lovers and Friends, I typically size down to a medium because I find that it runs big. I love a neckline like this that's like higher up and uh, more like exposes the arms. This with denim, I just thought would be kind of a moment. It's like a little crop top, but I like the neutral color. These pants, oh my God. These were the last thing I tried on and they are truly everything. I had to change my underwear because I was wearing like colorful underwear and then I realized that they totally show through. I'm definitely going to wear these as like a beach cover-up pant. I don't really see myself wearing them as like a, I think they're supposed to be almost like a cover-up because they're pretty sheer. Love these so much. These are Tula Rosa. I got a size medium. I'm so excited to wear like just, and you guys know I'm not a huge like bathing suit person. So I'm a big fan of like a nice cover-up and these are nice high-waisted pants that you could like wear your bikini top and these pants and be still like cute and everything but a little bit more covered up the cut on these is incredibly flattering i am such a fan I, and i love a, a beach pant just in general but i like this white because it's very crisp and nice i got a dress this is a bodycon which you guys know 
not always my go-to style. Lovers and friends, I got a size medium. The exterior is like a waffle pattern, but it is like double lined. It's pretty thick. So you don't have to worry about any sort of undergarment showing through. I wore just like a shopless bra on my underwear and I, like I thought it was fine. I think this with like a little white sneaker or a sandal could be really cute. Or you could also like choose to use this as like a cover up or something more casual. But I feel like this could totally be like on our trip if we, you know, do like a more casual dinner or something like that. I would wear this with like maybe even a jean jacket it and like a white sneaker or something just a nice casual uh like little body con dress but it's also not it, it's body con like it definitely is but it's not like club vibes you know like it's more casual this jumpsuit i love a good jumpsuit i love a good even strapless jumpsuit lovers and friends again they really came through on this one i got a size medium it's a terry cloth material so keep that in mind this i will totally be wearing as a cover-up like to the beach one day with my bikini on and then like throw this over it or a one piece maybe that could be a moment really really big fan it scrunches up at the bottom too. I feel like you could dress this up if you really wanted to, but it is like definitely that terry cloth, aka like beach like towel almost material, a very summery material, but it's actually almost a little heavy, but I, I would wear this on like a beach or pool day. And you, I'm not a huge beach gal, so I'm more pool, but for this trip, I will wear it to the beach. This set, just everything. Tula Rosa, I got a large top, medium bottom. It's like this pretty yellow color and it's just the perfect sweat set this i can't wait to wear on my trip like when we're like waking up and like grabbing coffee in the morning or also heading to the beach i feel like you could throw this on you could also wear the pieces separately which i love about a sweat set oh i lied i totally got the bottoms in a large too so and this is just like your classic yellow i really like this yellow it's very pretty it's like a nice pastel i love a zip up this is from the tularosa green line which says hi i'm made of eco organic cotton and natural dyes good for the earth and good for selfies love that very cute this with like a white bathing suit underneath i feel like will be really cute but also like i said just in the morning i don't know i always wear like white sneakers so like my the air force ones that i'm like wearing right now cute running errands also like today it's like 75 so i feel like like this morning if i was like going out running errands i totally could have worn this like in the city it's not necessarily just like for vacation but i'm in that mindset because i'm getting excited love a good graphic tee and i like the cut on this one i like it loose i don't like it to be my pet peeve on graphic tees is when they're like loose at the bottom but they like especially if you have a larger chest they like kind of grab your boobs and it like fits like that i'm like it doesn't fit right it needs to be the perfect looseness and i really like this this is 637 i got a size large i thought it was funny because it just says romeo's pizzeria and i like that it's reds because then you can pair it with i mean obviously you can pair it with any color but i just like the the red detail on it and i like that it already looks worn um this is obviously without me even like washing it i wore it for a little bit the other day but i didn't take the tags off because i'm like that i don't like to take the tags off until i wear it like fully out of the house um because i'm insane this was a surprising one it really it shocked me this is from ours i got it in a size medium and it's like this crisscross top when i saw it like just laying here i was like this isn't gonna work but then you've seen the try on i think it does work it's just pretty cropped and it's a long sleeve and the sleeves kind of like balloon out almost but i really like that at the top there's like some openings I just have to figure out the right thing to wear this with. Of course, denim. And the bra did show a little bit, so I just have to figure that out. But I, it's really, really soft. This is the tank top that I wore the other day when my mom was here. Love it. Tularosa green line again, which clearly I really like. I got this in a medium, and it's just like your perfect boxy tank top. I always need good like t-shirt tank top, like good ones to have. And this one I love because you could layer it up. You could wear it just on its own. Also, I really like this, like once again, for my beach vacation with things out sticking out from underneath or whatever so yeah you get it i didn't try this on because i have to wear a bathing suit with it because it's completely see-through but this as a cover-up i love tula rosa sweater i got it in a large and it's just one of those sweaters that's just like very open very loose the sleeves are loose i would probably only wear this for cover-up purposes i don't know like how else i would like formulate this into like almost an outfit because it is that like middle length where it like kind of covers your like crotch area you know what i'm saying but a very cute cover-up i think it will be with like i said a fun bathing suit underneath how many times can i say it you know i don't even know what bathing suits i'm wearing underneath but i have the clothes to wear on top so that's really good this top also surprised me typically not a fan of like the corset style -y shirts like this because especially having a large chest, I just feel like it's like, hey, look at my boobs. Even though I'm like, you gotta show them off somehow. I got this in a large, this is from the Super Down um, line, which is 
one of their more affordable lines. And I actually really like this. Like this with, I have some fun skirts that I thought would be cute. This um, for going out in the summer, oh, girl summer, like this with white pants. Maybe not like the white pants I just showed you, but some kind of white pant, like a white on white moment. Oh my God, I feel like that would be killer. Really into it. And it made my boobs look really good. So <laughs> I have to say that. This red set I did try on. The top I got in a large, it, it's a little big. It's like falling off. So I would have to get it tailored. It's from NBD. I wasn't sure when I saw this online like what the material would be so I was kind of nervous but keep in mind this is a thick material like it's a nice going outy material I do really like the pants I do really like the set together I like a red moment I think it's fun I think it pops with having dark hair the pants I got in a medium and the top I got in a large I might return the top and get a medium I should have known strapless sometimes can be hard for me just because then like I don't want to be like falling and like picking it up all night let me know if you guys have suggestions should I get this tailored should I return it the pants do work maybe I could just keep the pants and style them but then what what do we wear like red almost like pants with like I feel like you could almost only wear that as a set I guess you could wear these on their own I'm not that trendy yet guys I'm still like I like denim okay but very cute I just wish that it was a little more figure flattering for my particular body and lastly I didn't try this on even though I should have I'll probably post on Instagram in this because damn I really like it only problem with this of course is the sizing the sizing is like backwards i swear this is from love wave and i just read the reviews that it ran small so i got oh okay i got a large okay but i think it only goes up to an xl or something i mean obviously a lot of um problems that i have with revolve is that they're not like super super size inclusive which is definitely just really frustrating, especially in 2021. It's like, come on guys. So nonetheless, I read the reviews of this one and it said to size up. It's just a one piece black bathing suit, but connecting it has all these chains, like circular. Oh my God, you get gnarly tan lines if you wore this. It fit me really well. It actually had quite good coverage for my boobs and I didn't feel like I was like falling out when I like walked around my apartment, which was nice. That's normally my problem. I have like double D's I think. So whenever I get tops of bikinis, even if they do fit, like I feel like I move one centimeter and it's like, I might have like a slip, which no one wants to have that problem. It's just like really frustrating, but I really liked the fit of this one. Um, I just didn't want to try it on in the try on honestly, but I probably will wear on Instagram and stuff like that. If any larger trusted gals have made it this far in the video, let me know best places to get bathing suits. I feel like I've tried so many and I have a few from every brand. I don't have a favorite to speak of like brand. I like Monday swimwear. I just tried Dippin' Daisies and I like them, but all of them, I like, I just like them. I'm not like obsessed with a, particularly the cuts. So if you have any ideas, let me know, but this was good. It gives the illusion that it's like a high-waisted bathing suit bottom, but then it like, it's kind of sexy, honestly. I will say that word for this, which does make it off brand for me. Like black with like chains and stuff that's very like not i'm more like girly than that typically but anyways that's gonna wrap up not only the haul but the video i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog gonna start doing some smaller like more broken down ones in the next few weeks so we'll take a little break from the week in my life but if you enjoyed give it a thumbs up really supports me and my channel and i will talk to you guys all in the next video i think this is going up on saturday so on tuesday I post every tuesday and saturday you can follow me on instagram for more like real-time updates and i've been doing like i said those like mini vlogs on reels fun stuff on there love you guys so much bye